seen the female Robin before, um, because those arc fire can those arc fires can confirm in arc fires, which can confirm in arc fires. <laughs> <laughs> he basically the, the playground is open once that point arrives, mm -hmm. and we're gonna see how that's gonna happen with Mad Ice King versus Zemmel Game in Pokemon Stadium. It really all just depends on how well Mad Ice King can keep Zemmel off of him, right? Yeah. You kind of saw it during the paint matchup as well. However, Robin not gonna have a, as hard of a time to find KOs most likely. Uh, already a Nosferatu hit, all right. Sure. Not a lot of healing done, but still, it sends a message. <laughs> we actually saw a Bowser Crouch <laughs> coming into play there, I want to point that out. My man thinking he is Snake. <laughs> I mean, he, he did dodge it, he did dodge yeah. it. But Bowser Crouch goes a lot lower than I'd expect, at least. And still has to fight. Oh, okay, he tried to get like a futsal into the, the 11 sword drop, hey. but the hitbox was already cancelled by the fair, I think. Yeah, the, 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 the hitbox was off at that point. And now, but Ice King, kind of a peculiar position, does need to watch out for all those Zemmel aerials at the ledge. And Zemmel has been catching upper hand in most of these air to air trade interactions. Mm -hmm. Ooh, really harassing him with these level one thunder charges. But the down air from the disadvantage is going to take that. And Zemmel draws first blood. Uh oh, this is the art fire, gets 27% of it. Mm, I like that. You know, no, uh -oh. normally Nosferatu is pretty risky to hit, but using the ledge there to cancel the uh, the end lag. Oh my God, Zemmel, please! Okay, this is looking yikes. This is looking yikes. Guess the forward air in though. That is gonna take that first look. But Zemmel looking so dominant once he properly gets oh, in. Oh, look at that! An easy 20% heal, which immediately gets stacked on again by the side B. Um, but you know, it might have saved him there. Yeah. Twin Tome is gone, so uh -oh. he'll need to be careful here, especially off stage. Uses it early, but a little bit too early at that. Zemmel's gonna take that, and a big lead now for our Lizard Boy. And he has not yet hit a single arc fire. Uh, as we said, that is, can be quite a good tool if it works the way we think it does, at least. Um, and then he, he really needs to rely on these aerials. Of course, Bowser does have a lot more general range with that forward air, because Bronze Sword does not go that far. And then it, it becomes a, quite a, a... If you have to constantly contest the matter air, it becomes quite taxing and difficult for your resources. For sure. All right, there goes Eleven Sword. Instantly throws it up. I like how Zemmel, once Arcfire hit his shield, he actually immediately rolled away. Uh, all right, great Nosferatu again. But that's something the other opponents that faced Mad Ice King didn't do quite as well. They really got caught in shield mm -hmm. with the arc fire. But there we go, finds a stock. Good roll read from Zemmel there. Still, honestly, with the damage Ooh. output of Robin, this could go either way. But also, if Bowser decides to Bowser bump you at the ledge, this could also just yeah. end at any point. Yeah, for sure. That's a really scary spot. Fair from the ledge, an extremely strong option for Robin. It's going to be another Nosferatu. I felt it coming. Yeah, I felt, I felt it felt coming. It. You can yeah, feel those yeah, with yeah, Mad Ice King. Yeah, yeah. But the thing that makes those Nosferatus in this situation so good is that they are they don't do that much damage, but in terms of netto percentages, it's mm -hmm. such a damaging move. Yeah. Really evens up the playing field. Oh, boy, that's to watch out. Is in the lead now. Zemmel only needs to find one good hit. Oh, oh rolls into the Arc Fire or the Arc Thunder. If you had waited a little bit with that back air, that uh -oh. would have been the game. Right there goes the Eleven Sword again. Oh! Catches him. Still living though. And Ice King with the great DI on that back air and is out of his wind tome. And there's the fair. Still surviving. living. The kill screen not working in Zemmel's favor here. Okay. Oh. That should be it. Yeah. There we go. All right. He had the wind tome back in time, but then a kind of sloppy get back to the stage option. Kind of messed him up there, and the Zemmel chant yeah. is popping off right here. People want to see the Bowser succeed. A thing that I noticed, and you pointed out the fair off sta on stage is a mm -hmm. good option. He did that like twice or three times in a row, and Zemmel blocked him. And suddenly, uh-oh, I am in yep. Bowser's face. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's a strong option, but you can't just spam it, right? No. You, you, you need to be careful. You need to mix it up always. But yeah, no, Zemmel really found a good way to deal with that option and really just had some great call-outs as well. You know, that, that initial back air that triggered the first kill screen was a very great call-out on the jump, mm -hmm. and he just took that momentum all the way through until he took the game. Yeah, no, it's, it's, 
uh, Mad Ice King's turn to pick the stage. Uh, you would have thought that maybe PS2 would be a good stage, but Kalos, especially with those arc fire angles, maybe they can land a bit more because in PS2, you're kind of restricted. There are a bunch of angles you can land, mm -hmm. but not they, they will stick on those platforms. So maybe jumping in with those arc fires is a bit of a less attractive option. But now we have Kalos. Uh huh. Yeah, and. Um I'm actually not quite sure. We, we saw someone else kind of pick Kalos against uh, Zemmel. Mm -hmm. I, I believe it was Paint, and then he just lived into ridiculous percentages. Mm -hmm. You know, that is Duck Hunt, granted. But still, you know, this is uh, this is not at all a bad stage for Bowser, but what a great start there for Mad Ice King. Yeah. Oh my. And this is the stuff you want to see with those arc fires. A thing that does kind of work in Mad Ice King's favor. Oh, oh sure. <laughs> sure. That was just rude. Yeah. Uh, is that uh, uh, the m most times that forward air or that back air is going to be the killing blow in the most general interaction? And then having these side blast zones kind of close-ish to the silent stage. Maybe a good option. Oh, good drift from Mad Ice King, oh but boy. that Nostrado is going to get red, and now he's back at the ledge again. Well done by Mad Ice King to hold into the stage there during the side B. Otherwise, he uh -oh. would have gone onto the platform, but still drops the stock there. Heftel's going to take it. And those arc fires there. They are again. Gets the up smash, but not the hitbox he wanted. I feel like there could have been an F smash. Yeah. Oh. Let's get in his forwarder, send him out of there, and a good downer to speed up the recovery. Down smash, not going to be safe enough to be or get rid of that Zemmel grab right there. And this is such a dangerous position to be against Bowser because that backer and there are such strong options to keep you on that platform. A, you do not want to be at the ledge. Another jump call out. Mad Ice King really having such a tough time with Zemmel right on his tail. It's not easy, but a fair on the jump is gonna take it, finds his own jump catch. Oh, wow, Zemo wanted that roll in. <laughs> he really wanted to. To be fair, I always go for that as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can get that, I can get that. Mm -hmm. Oh, tech situation. Oh! Great stuff by Zemo. Find the right option there instantly. And that is a fresh stock lead now against Mad Ice King. It's really difficult to catch Zimmel in the air because most of the time he just tries to mix it up with those jump forward airs. Either going for the rising or the falling forward air and that makes it kind of difficult for Robin to properly contest it. Reads the jump again with the back air and now Mad Ice King in a really difficult spot. Jumping over that Arc Thunder. Stuck at the ledge oh getting an up smash in. My man, you are the one holding the books but you just got red. Yikes. Not bad at all from Zemmel, I gotta say, man. The way he carries his advantage state is just phenomenal. He's been doing that so well against basically every player he's faced, and now against Mad Ice King, too. I mean, just bang on job. Uh, I want to point out that something you mentioned that it's really tough for, uh, is, or it's been really tough for Mad Ice King yeah. to hit him during uh, as an anti air or a neutral. And I feel like that's. Both because what you said, like he mixes up the attacks as well, but what he also does really well is using his double jump to cancel his momentum forward, which makes Mad Ice King whiff, and then all of a sudden, Bowser fast falls onto your face and just deals so much damage. Yeah, yeah, Bowser is, is for some reason a super fast faller. Yeah. Um, gets back to the stage so quickly from up above. Uh, we're gonna go back to Pokemon Stadium. Well, I mean, he is heavy, so it's not too surprising that he fa falls fast, right? I'm, I want to I mean, get in a, heavier than feathers. I want to get in a really <laughs> big physical debate. Uh, I am not going to. This is my free Saturday. Thank you very much. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good option there. Gets the four there. Oh, and for the down air, a little bit too early. Zemmel carrying the momentum again. There's another Nosferatu. Nice healing for Mad Ice King. Oh, the book actually interrupting the timing. Yeah. That Nair actually confirms into back air. Would not have killed, but still, that's like 30% you have to deal with. So really a uh, little bit of an angel on uh, Mad Ice King's shoulder there. He needs to find a KO now. Gonna set up nothing on the ledge, actually. Just staying away from the ledge, mostly. Interesting. Still going for those Arc Thunder. They seem to be... They have not been hitting that much, actually. No. He's been jumping over them all the time. So you would presume maybe get a, a four on in or something to just keep that hitbox out of there and keep it like longevity. Uh, but 
that does not seem to be in the plans right now. That should be it, even with the bronze sword. And the first stock goes to Bad Ice King. All right, Izemel once again trying to find a jump in. Didn't quite get it. Finds an up air. Doesn't quite take it. Fair also not taking it, but we've seen the situation time and time again where Madaz King is in disadvantage and doesn't really know what to do. Reading Osferatu from the ledge, I can get it. It would have healed a lot, but now it cost him a stock. Oh, oh sure. Oh, yeah. wow. Yes. The Big. <laughs> yeah, the final hitbox being a little bit bigger there. Bro, calm down, Zemmel. Uh, be out of shield. Oof, that should be an up smash. No, an up air. <laughs> Almost doing the job right there. Yeah. Waits that final hitbox off the down air out patiently. And now Mad Ice King in a good position for the first time this set, I would say. Mm -hmm. Really in a little bit of a lead now, but I say a little bit because it's still Bowser, right? Can take a stock at any given moment. Uh, but he's really keeping it off of him very well. Throwing out the small thunders here. Really just, just not want to interact. Just no. keep him off of me. Get out of here, dude. Jump! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a Thoron. All right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, what? Oh, that works. Okay, that was a little bit with Janky. Ooh, Side B right near the ledge doesn't take it, but does do a lot of damage. Don't jump fair, please. Okay. Spot dodges. dodges. Oh, that's actually really good for Mad Ice yeah, King. Yeah, he's going to make that back. I think he, he on purpose. Yeah, did perhaps. It. Yeah, I think Mad Ice King on purpose steered it off stage. And that's actually a really good option there. Getting uh, actually, I don't want to say kind of lucky, but surviving the most dangerous situation he could have found himself in at that point. Ooh, big up tilt, not quite taking it just yet, but that, yeah, that's a little bit too free. He's gonna take that all the way to the bank, and we're back to a one stock apiece game. Okay, needs to find an arc fire to start something big. Mm -hmm. Zemmel, meanwhile, needs to find just some hits. It doesn't really matter. He can get this percentage uh, de deficit back with like two hits. A Nair backer could be enough to be at around the same damage to weight ratio. Oh boy. I'm gonna throw him. All right, back throw actually. I was expecting a forward throw to get him off stage, but maybe he wanted to do the same with the back throw. Bad spot for Zamel now. Jumps. Oh. Okay, Nair still covering the air dodge. Tries to get something. Mm -hmm. Once the Arc Thunder in again. Yeah. Go. Really, none of those have been hitting. I don't know, he just wants to jump, I guess, but then he doesn't really follow up from that. And now his Levin Sword is gone. Uh -oh. this, these are the 10 seconds of fame for Zemmel if he wants to take this set home. Uh oh. Okay. I, I am feeling. Um, oh, that should oh. be it! Yeah, there we go. Got kind of stuck because of his big body in those arc fires. Mad Ice King taking it. And now the crowd cheering for Mad Ice King. No, it's still Wait, Zemmel. I think it's Vendel and Zemmel. I think it's a combination. It's yeah. like a Dragon Ball Z fusion yeah. of the two. Vendel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. But uh, kind of, I don't want to say s particularly sloppy because uh, he missed his Levin Sword at the most mm -hmm. important moment. Like he could have killed him. He was in a he was in kind of dangerous position because Bowser with Rage is Bowser with Rage. Yeah. And then missing that Levin Sword on that moment. Real scary. Ugh, that scary moment. Luckily, Zimbal didn't get to fully capitalize on it. Mm -hmm. um, and Ben Asking took the, st the game home, but I said it in the uh, previous set. Now you have to survive two counter picks. Uh huh, and that is not easy at all. I mean, two to one back against the wall. I have to see what he can make do with it. And but yeah. he does have a score on the board. He does. And we still do, and I'm, I'm going to keep saying it even though we haven't seen it. We still do have that second character on deck for Zemmel. Indeed. We can just change things up enough. But we're going to go back to Carlos. Last time this worked out for Zemmel. Is it going to work out again? Or is Matt Eisen going to make it a game five? All right. Finds an opening again with a jump in. Really just has been getting those so well. Uh, there we go. Oh, doesn't go for the forbidden combo. No, Fertuner. <laughs> oh, but that upper though. Such a good range on that upper. Now stuck at the ledge again. Long hitbox off that forder is going to stick him right there. Now he does not have the Levin Sword anymore. Oh, the returning Levin Sword almost hitting uh, Zemmel there on the way down. But yeah, I, I feel like Man Ice King should really be careful here with how much he is throwing out the, the projectiles at, on a reactable range. Yes. Because Zemmel, just his jump ins have been so on point against those. Uh oh, that's position. 
Yeah, I really like the up out of shield there. That's gonna be the stock. Yeah, no surprise there. Such a strong move. Zemmel up a stock. I just like to imagine this matchup with uh, Bowser still having like a six frame jump squad. Oh my uh, god. Because he has been jumping over so many of these projectiles and it would have been so much more difficult had he had that awful, awful Smash 4 jump squad. But luckily with the universal jump squad in place, this seems a lot more doable for a character like Bowser. Indeed. And those arc flames, they're still... I, maybe I'm missing something, but I, I do not particularly get them. Yeah, me neither. They really haven't been hitting. I, I, I get that he wants to force a jump, because it's a slow traveling projectile, but then Zemmel jumps and he doesn't really get anything out of it. Yeah, I, it's like Zemmel jumping is not something Zemmel doesn't really yeah, care he, about he does, it. He doesn't mind. <laughs> like, like he's always jumping yeah. for the most part. But there we go. Catches a jump from the ledge. That is actually going to take the stock. So, Mad Ice King still in this. Good arc fire there. Keeping pressure on the ledge there. Four there and there. There we go. There it he is. is hacking. He is in the game. <laughs> I love how the crowd pops off for that. <laughs> yeah, good. They should. <laughs> oh, good drift back. Does not get hit by that back air from Bowser. Oh, catches him just out of that jump. That's a smash exclusive. You mm -hmm. don't see that in another fighting game. That mashes out fast enough. Jug. Down throw into the Nair, gonna send him off stage. And actually, Mad Ice King making quite a run for his money with the damage he's been doing. But that side B, the grab. Oh, Down the spike. Air, yep. That was an overextension and a half, and Mad Ice King is gonna take that. Good option there. Great, great coverage again with the side B. Really been using that option very well. It's like a fast coverage move. Uh oh, that's uh -oh. a re grab. Yeah. That was, uh, He's been doing that a lot on Kalos, actually. Getting yeah. the re-grab and then dying for it. I'm not sure what the idea behind that is, but it's not working so far. Okay. That's uh, a lot of Levin Sword being thrown out. Oh, boy. So much damage. Oh, oh, my God. He almost died. Yeah, sure. Down. Oh, yeah. f not hitting. But uh, all of a sudden, what seemed to be an okay match has turned really on his head. Okay, and now Zemo all of a sudden not jumping over the Arc Thunders anymore. No, maybe the, the conditioning conditioning. <laughs> 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 right, spot dodging there. Ah! Okay. Has to watch out. You know what I also haven't seen in particular because he has been uh, doing fair, fair, uh, fair from the ledge. Nosferatu from the ledge. Mm -hmm. That was one of his, uh, one of his recent uh, things he's been on about. Just trying to get some Nosferatu's from the leg. He did lose game one to it, though, so I kind of understand why. I, I <laughs> guess, but still the amount of times he has pressed four there off the leg on shield. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's going to be it. Yeah. Great jump catch, and Zemmel is going to take that three to one. So a valiant effort by Mad Ice King, but Zemmel is going to be the one to take it home there and move on to the loser semifinals. Yeah.